with yourself. God Almighty created you. And if he tells you that something is wrong, it is wrong. And your anger stems from your natural rebellion that is within the substance of your flesh that you inherited from Adam. You understand what I'm saying? That's why the flesh must be crucified when you walk with Jesus Christ. And you have to walk after the spirit because, see, the Holy Spirit will minister to your spirit. The Holy Spirit is not going to minister to the flesh because the flesh is at enmity with God. There's nothing. God has nothing to do with the flesh. The flesh is in total and complete rebellion of God. Even physically, the flesh is in rebellion because it is susceptible to sicknesses and diseases and, and all of that stuff. Your flesh is supposed to be able to resist any and everything. I don't care what comes upon it. But it cannot. It cannot. Because if you have a wound and somebody else has a wound, and there's an opening to the body, and they have um, a virus, or they have some type of bacteria, or they have, and um, whatever is in their blood can attack what's in your blood. But your blood is supposed to be able to resist that, but it cannot, because the flesh is in a fallen, debilitated state because of Adam. Adam made everybody susceptible to everything, common colds, um, viruses that can take over the world, and, and, and everything. The flesh this ha is weak. It's weak in every way. It is symbolic of spiritual weakness, and in its physical state, it is weak as well. That's the reason why people can get killed in a car accident. People can get killed in a plane crash. People can get killed um, if a ship goes down. Because the flesh cannot resist anything anymore because of Adam. Whereas if Adam had not sinned, there would have been no accidents anyway. But I'm just using that as an example, you guys. I'm not speaking that out there in the, in the universe. But I'm just saying. You, you understand what I'm saying? I want you to see what sin did to humanity. The Bible tells us in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 7, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You have to resist Satan. You have to treat him like he's feel like he's garbage because that's what he is and to resist means withstand the action or effect of so what is the action and the effect of the devil the devil likes to make suggestions he likes to speak to your mind he likes to talk and rap to your flesh 